Hello friends, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the worst final evolutions. So last time we took a trip to Seenwood City to get a special potion for Jasmine and her sick Ampros at the top of the lighthouse. And while we were there, we tried battling Chuck at the gym, and amazingly, my team kept pulled through, and we won the fifth gym badge, and I saw the rappel up from last time. So I am back in Olivine City, and we're just going to go take the potion up to Jasmine. And once I have given her the potion, she'll return to her gym. And then I can attempt to challenge her there and either get miraculously lucky and uh, defeat her or suffer a uh, defeat at the hands of her Steel-type Pokemon. So I'll go more into what makes Jasmine so difficult once I've finished giving her the potion here because now... I gotta hand her the potion. Will that medicine cure Amphi? I hope it does. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. So there's the healing sound. So how are you feeling? And Ampharo sounds all bright and perky, back to full health. So the medicine worked. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. Um, the holes are to the right, Jasmine. Uh, is, is there a secret entrance I don't know any, anything about? Hello? Oh, fine, I'll just drop down the holes anyway. Whereas hopefully I don't break my legs. Okay, so Jasmine. Uh, so she uses the Steel-type Pokémon for her gym fights. And what makes the steel type so difficult to deal with is not only are they defensive to begin with, or just in general, they also pack a lot of resistances to a, a multitude of types. And if you notice, my team doesn't necessarily pack a lot of offense, so I'm going to struggle to deal a lot of damage. So, as I tend to do, I'll spend all my money and risk not losing a whole lot. If I lose to Jasmine, I do have all the business in Mahogany Town I could deal with to get a few more levels going. Or maybe I'll get a lucky strategy going and try another match after I lose. And thankfully, I don't have to deal with any trainers leading up to Jasmine. The game kind of assumes the trainers in the lighthouse are the uh, trainers to deal with. So now I've got to figure out a strategy. So she, start she has two Magnemites and a Steelix. The Magnemites will take four times effective damage against ground attacks. So if Weber can pull a lucky Quick Claw, I might be able to KO the Magnemites. The Steelix is going to be the other problem. It's already incredibly defensive, and also packs a lot of strategies against uh, things that would normally be used to take it down. So I hope this works. Thank you for your help at the Lighthouse, but this is different. Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Okay, let's see how this works. There's gonna be a lot of luck riding on this. But here we go, starting with Magnemite. And it's already a huge level gap, about the same as Chuck. So please quick claw, let's see how, uh, let's see if you work. I didn't work, and I'm confused. That's not good. Maybe I'll dodge the confusion. Okay, I dodged the confusion there, but I'll also have to dodge the confusion underground. At least I dodged a thunderbolt. Yes! Dodge the confusion. Is this a KO? Nice! It is a one-shot. Four times damage, you are awesome. But now it's the Steelix. If you thought 30 was bad, 35 is worse. Okay, well. Oh, uh, what do I do? Uh, well, Effie, Effie really is ineffective against this gym. Like, I can't use Hidden Power to hurt the Steelix. So, it's just gonna be a, a switch. Okay, let's see. Oof. Thanks for taking a hit, Effie. Okay. Um, I have an idea. I, I want to bring Mr. Puff in to deal with uh, Steelix, because Water-type is effective against Steelix. 
uh, but Steelix packs Sunny Day, which it, it weakens my water moves and makes it even harder to deal with. So I'm going to bank on Dart being really fast and getting some set damage off this on the Steelix, so <laughs> Steel type doesn't matter. And do we even have Rock Throw? I don't like you. But that's that's damage. And even worse, I think Jasmine can heal up uh, using a, a potions. I think the I think she's the first gym leader that can do that in this game. So I'm I'm hoping that I can deal with the Steelix before that happens. And there's the sunny day. Okay. So what do I do here? There's no way I can uh, KO the Steelix from here. A lucky critical hit is one thing. Oh, I, I, I gotta hope. Maybe if I, if I get the critical hit, that takes care of the worst problem. Ah, oh, that's not good. And thankfully, Steel uh, can't damage water very well, so I'm not gonna take a strong hit. Or at least I'll be able to withstand one hit. Uh, okay. Because I know I can outspeed the Steelix, I'm gonna take advantage of uh, Steelix uh, being in healing mode. And I'm gonna switch out to Palmer here. Now, funnily enough, Palmer does have Fire Punch, which does get boosted by the sun. And I would laugh really hard if I burned the Steelix. That's actually a really strong hit, all things considered. I may actually live an Iron Tail now. One Iron Tail. I don't think I'll live multiple. Oh, that's just funny. Okay. So this is good. I'm burning turns on the sunlight, and I've weakened Steelix. Wow, I'm actually amazed that Palmer's doing that much damage with, uh, with Fire Punch. Okay. So... I should be able to live in Iron Tail thanks to the burn. And the sun's gone. So this should actually KO the Steelix. If if the Surf doesn't, the burn should finish it off. Okay, thank goodness. That means the I don't get retaliated back with an Iron Tail before the burn takes it down. Oh, that feels good. But I do still have to deal with a Magnemite here. Okay. Uh, no way am I faster, but I'm not letting something on my party take a Thunderbolt, so... Oh! I'm faster than a Magnemite! Maybe that level up helped. I'm not sure. But that's good. I, I dealt it some damage. And now I uh, take a strong Thunderbolt to the face. Uh, now it's down to Ray and Weber. Okay. Uh, nothing I've got can hurt it, but I gotta throw some luck into this. Okay, supersonic hit. I don't think Jasmine can use a potion on the Magnemite, or at least I don't think she's programmed to do so. So, with the Magnemite being confused, I have a chance. I All I gotta do is give... Weber a safe path to get underground, and I should knock out the Magnemite. So please. Please. Yes! Weber gets safely underground. There's no way the Magnemite can dodge this. There we go. Oh my goodness, my team did it. Oh, that took some strategy, but yes! I beat Jasmine on the first try. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I've never been so happy to receive the mineral badge. Oh, I've... In past times playing this game, I've had stronger level teams struggle against uh, Jasmine and lose. And I, I'm so happy that my lower level team came together and managed to take down Jasmine. I am just so happy right now. Oh, and I did receive Iron Tail, which I believe Palmer is the only one that can learn it. I mean, go figure, he's got a giant tail. 
Um, that is the case, but I really don't use Iron Tail because while it is strong, it is inaccurate. So it's it's kind of a, it is a literal hit or miss move. Thankfully, it's not as inaccurate as Dynamic Punch. So let me just quickly heal up my winning team here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I think the clutch move was uh, Palmer burning the Steelix. Real MVP there. Like, I'm, I'm fairly certain I would have lost had I not burned the Steelix. That's just so awesome. Okay, well, business has concluded in Olivine City, so now I can make my way back to uh, Mahogany Town now. That's the next place for me to go. Uh, I do have all that Team Rocket business to take care of there as well. I, I started it when I fought the Red Gyarados, uh, but I never I never followed through since I was just there to get the Red Scale. So now I can actually do the uh, Team Rocket side quest. And did you? Okay, so maybe they don't hold on to their items forever. So if I get a phone call for them, I'd have to I'd have to get it within the day, I think. Oh, speaking of item, I never actually got the item finder, which, while I probably won't use it, it's just a good thing to have. So the item finder is good at helping you find uh, items that are not visible on the overworld. And while I do remember where some are off the top of my head, thanks to how often I'd get them, there are some that are still uh, new to me, so to speak. So I uh, having the item finder would help if I was needing to find those items. But uh, now I can move on, and thankfully I didn't take any damage, so I can just continue my way on this way. And thank goodness I don't have to go into Mount Mortar. So I can just surf my way across the water here. Oh, and here's a cool thing too. This is something I never uh, really did as a kid, because I, uh, I, I never really kept a cut Pokemon on me at all times, so I, I wouldn't often go down here. But if you did visit Suicune and see in what city, Suicune does appear there uh, afterwards. And it, uh, it it just runs away. It really does nothing in the long run, but... Oh, really? Last tile? Oh, well. Eh, just a Goldeen. Uh, but yeah, Suicune uh, just appears there and uh, runs away if you go in there. Like, no appearance from Yuzine even, just Suicune runs. So, that's cool. Uh, but, okay, I can fight some of the trainers here. Since I did, I did skip over them when I was here the last time. And this is also another trainer whose phone number I'll be getting. Uh, this fisherman here, uh, he gives, uh, the occasional water stone. So, another good trainer to get. Oh, and he also uses a cool fish. Okay. So let's see, let's see if my team can handle this. I should be able to handle a few trainers now. I mean, I, I took down Jasmine. I, if I can conquer Jasmine, this team can conquer everything. Now, mind you, that'll probably take a few levels to do so, but I'm sure this team can do it. Okay, down goes Quillfish. And Effie's still getting a lot of experience because <laughs> I will make Effie the strongest unknown. Okay, what? Well, I am still getting your phone number. Okay. Yep, so if he fishes up any items, he'll just call me up and say, Hey, I got something for you. Don't know how often that'll be, but hey, better than nothing. Alright, and then we have this, I think it's a Pokemaniac? Ooh, yeah. Hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Um, there's so many other people here. Why aren't you yelling at them? Anyways, I'll just take you down and uh, take you down to Pokemon fight. Yeah, they do tend to use a lot of Pokemon that are either really rare or evolve via Moonstone, I find. Well, let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. And I wholly resist that. Okay, two hits for two damage. I'll just take one hit for about half your health, please. Well, almost. But, hey, I'm okay with that. Okay. Down goes... Nidorino. Okay, stats aren't looking too bad. I do know that in the Rocket Hideout, I can find the TM for Thief, which would give Dart a special move. 
and it's good coverage too. I'm sure there will be times where I'll be using Dart to face down psychic Pokemon. And <laughs> I know Dart can't learn any bug moves outside of breeding, but just having coverage moves will make Dart that much more effective. Okay. Well, I should have used my Moonstone. Oh yeah, he actually says that he should have used the Moonstone. Got on Pokedex? Well, he must know some pretty rare Pokemon. Eh, no. <laughs> and then we have a hiker here. I think he just uses uh, Diglett? We'll find out. Three Pokemon, so he, I guess he has a variety. Oh, but he does have the Diglett. Yeah, and they're still pretty low level, too. I, I think I've made mention of this before, but if the area is open up to you, uh, then the Pokemon have to match the uh, the level you'd be at at the time you probably access it. So my Pokemon would have been around the mid, uh, either 20 or just below 20 by the time I accessed Egertik City. And technically I can make my way through Mount Mortar to Mahogany. So the Pokemon I come across would have to be able to be at that level or roughly lower. So that's why all these Pokemon are at such low levels and I am so lucky I dodged that. I wasn't even thinking of Rock Throw. Well, I'll just make up for it with a nice punch. Way to go, Ray. <laughs> Experience is minuscule. <laughs> I just make Effie gain all the levels. All right, and this is, yes, he uses a Dug Trio of all things. But that means nothing to my icy ladybug. And down goes the Dug Trio. Doing pretty good. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, hikers and their bellowous laughs. Losing feels insignificant if you look up at the big sky. Well, yeah, just all in the grand scheme of things. Well, okay, so here we are at, uh, back at Mahogany. And I'm just going to enter here right away. So yeah, here we have a Dragonite who just uses a Hyper Beam against a person. Might be a bit overkill, but oh well. What took you, Storm? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. So we just follow him along. He's just, uh, get out of my way. And he just like, I know the stairs are right here. So he just goes in, it's like, yeah, I'll just go in first. I could, he could probably just take down this whole organization, but oh well. So in this first room here, there's a bunch of traps. Like I think one of the NPCs even said this used to be an old ninja hideout, which that's kind of awesome. But every time you walk in front of a statue, it'll sound an alarm and I have to do two fights against uh, two rocket grunts. And that it'll be the same two grunts every time I pass in front of the statue. So that could take a lot of time. So I'm gonna go find a way to shut down those switches. But I have to get through this fight first. So we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, just, a, just a regular old pound. And eh, not too bad. Can still take these Pokemon down, no problem. And Zubat. All right, how will this go? Ah, uh, it's not, still not a one-shot. Okay. Oh, that's right, I still have the Bitter Berry attached, so I don't even have to worry about that. I can just play right around it. That's nice, I actually used a berry for its intended purpose. All right, well, that's the first Rocket Grunt down. Yeah, you failed. And yep, the alarm still goes, and there's the second one. Now, as you can see, there's a statue beneath me, and there's about three or four other statues off screen. So, if you don't know about how to turn off those alarms, these rocket runs get annoying real fast. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and shut down the alarm and not have to deal with them further. Dart's putting in some work here, that's good. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's just keep going. Yeah. Well, all they're doing is just pound, so not really a whole lot of damage here. All right, well, there's the second down. 
one more. I think it's just a Rattata? Yeah. Just the usual Rocket Grunt Pokemon. Okay. Now, let's see how much health you have. Probably three Sonic Booms. Yep. Ooh, okay. Now you're bringing out a uh, now you're bringing out a strong move. Okay. Sh Ooh. So I didn't know Sonic Boom had 95% accuracy. And okay, couldn't have lasted long, long enough. Uh, yeah, we'll just let Palmer come in. Uh, and we'll just go strength. Maybe a bit overkill to chuck a giant boulder at a little rat, but hey, all's good in the end. All right. Surveillance cams are in the statues. We'll keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. So that's that's the hint of looking for something. So thankfully, the way to find the secret switch does not pass in front of any of the secret statues. So I just have to come all the way down here. And then we have this uh, scientist here. I'll just uh, face him right now. Yep, so this was once a ninja hideout, and so there are traps to confound intruders. However, I have not been confounded. Scientist Jed. Oh, hello, Magnemite. Would you like to meet my fire-punching monkey? That was, uh... I was instrumental in in getting my sixth gym badge against steel type Pokemon. It's a good amount of damage. Thank goodness, uh, <laughs> not Thunderbolt. One of the best electric moves in the game. Just mostly for power versus accuracy. Although, Thunder arguably might be a bit better in this generation. All right, well, another Magnemite. Should once again be no problem. Punch! Okay. Oh, just a tackle this time. Alright. Second Magnemite down. Are you gonna surprise me with, like, a Magneton or something? Nope, nope. He just goes three Magnemite. Just combine all three of them and create a Magneton that way. Okay. Well, once again, still not a one-shot. And thank goodness I dodged a Supersonic. Which, uh, a cool programming quirk of the Pokemon games. I'm, I'm fairly certain I mentioned this uh, in the past, but just in case I haven't. If, in a po if a computer opponent uses a status move against you, in addition to the accuracy of the move normally, there is an additional 25% chance on top of it that it will miss. So it's, it's trying to make it a little bit uh, more geared towards you not getting hit by a lot of status moves. But Super Sonic in this game has a 55% accuracy, so it's literally a coin flip. So on top of the 55%, there's an additional 25%, I would say of the 55, not like added to, uh, that it will miss as well. So if you get hit with a Super Sonic, you have every right to be angry at it. All right, well, I pressed the switch, so now I will not trip any of the uh, statue alarms. Which is good, because along uh, this path here, uh, I do find a few uh, items on the ground. And this place has some pretty good items, so I'm going to take every opportunity to get them. Okay, oh, yep, and there's some money for me. Okay. And then right here, it's the uh, stairs to the next floor, but up here, there are trap tiles that if you trigger the wrong switch, uh, you'll be forced into a wild Pokemon fight that you can't run from. So there's the short way, which takes a few fights, or there's the long way, which is a bunch of trainers. Usually it's just whatever you pick, but I take the long way. And then there's a warp tile back to the start, so all's good. But we're gonna go down here, and here we got Lance. Are you all right? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. So, the reason I didn't visit the Pokemon Center is he just heals you up right away. So, he goes onwards, and I'm gonna park it right here, because I've been recording for quite a bit of time, and I feel like uh, tackling the rest of the hideout would be good for the next episode. So, I'm gonna call it here for now. 
and thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my uh, really awesome fight against Jasmine. I, I'm certainly quite happy with how it turned out. It could have gone on for a lot longer, but nope, just in first try. So hopefully the luck continues on the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and have a good day.